from St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, as long as in every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is being proclaimed, In Catholic school, they taught us that Jesus died for our sins. With his blood, he made the ultimate sacrifice, giving his life. In Brooklyn, we learned of another sacrifice. taking a life. I guess you can call this my confession, except I'm not asking for forgiveness. That's Bobby, one of my two best friends. The sweetest guy in the world, but a legendary cheapskate. This is Carmine, great guy, but incredibly vain, even as a kid. This, of course, is me. Okay, I know what you're thinking. How could I steal from a church collection plate? Well, I knew stealing was supposed to be a sin, but I learned to live by a different set of rules. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of will and taste. I've been around for a long, long year. Stole many a man. I was around when Jesus Christ had his moment of doubt and pain. Me damn sure the pilot was to seal his face. Pleased to meet you. Hope you can't smile. Get up! Get up! You hear me? What's your name? Call my man Cuso. Your mother Italian? Yes, sir. Let me see. No way, man, it's mine. What are you doing? Hey, puppy. Oh, look. You okay? He's cute. Oh, sharp teeth. What should we do with him? <laughs> Nothing. I'm keeping him. Well, you're a spunky one, aren't you? This is creepy, guys. Yes, you are. Let's get out of here. Bobby did end up keeping the dog, and Carmine kept the lighter. By 1985, we were all grown up and still close as ever.
Carmine had fallen in love with himself. Bobby was still a sweetheart, living at home and cheap as ever, throwing quarters around like they were manhole covers. For me, school was a way out of the neighborhood, a chance to be something. I figured, with my natural ability to bullshit and near total lack of conscience, I should be a lawyer. My plan was to buy a big house in Westchester, where I'd play tennis and water polo and shit like that. Hey! What are you, fucking blind? But in my neighborhood, it was better to keep ambitions like water polo to yourself. Oh my god. Oh my god. They got a park. Park? They got valet right here? Not valet, it's a ripoff. Oh, look at that <laughs> ass over there. That's a guy, Bobby. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it really is a guy. That's not a guy. <laughs> it was good, Bobby. We're like 19 miles away. So we'll get some exercise. I need exercise and 200 push ups today. Oh, was he happy? Too happy. The guy underneath you, was he happy? <laughs> Mikey, you got a 20 you can lend me, please? It's Tuesday, come on. What happens Tuesday? I don't know, I'll give you another excuse to Wednesday. Come on, please. Bobby never passed a church without saying a prayer. A habit beaten into him by overzealous nuns. Fucking hump. Apparently, they hadn't beaten Carmine hard enough. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Hail Mary, Mother of God. I know this is asking a lot. Please, you think you could help these two losers get laid tonight or what? Yeah. You're praying to a virgin to get us laid. You know you're both going to hell? Both of you, hell. Father Canzanieri. In our neighborhood, pastels was the place to hang. Jesus Christ, look at all these broads. PD, hey, come hey, on, what's buddy? up? Is your sister here? Yeah, she's down there. Hey, nice sweater. You know, Fred McMurray used to be in the movie. Don't listen to him. I thought you were going to call me. I was going to lost your phone number. But I'm going to call you, I promise. No, asshole. Come on, come on. Come on, man, what, huh? Come on, come on man, what? Oh, what? Huh? Hey, 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 whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. Back of the club was the VIP section. VIP being a euphemism for wise guy. By the mid-80s, Caesar was a captain in the Gambino family and the man who controlled our neighborhood. Legend had it that Caesar once killed a guy for giving him a bad haircut. For me, that always explained why Carmine worshipped him. He's calling me over. Mike, he's calling me over. He's calling me over. <laughs> Hey, look who it is. Hey, sit down over here. How's your mother? Oh, she's really good. Thank you for asking. You know Philly Cabrese? Hey, come on and cue some. I heard some good things about you. You two should get to know each other. Yo, we gotta talk to him. Who? Oh. Who? Come on. This wise guy's shit. He's getting too involved with these guys. Hey, he's a big boy. Mike, I'm serious. All right, we'll talk to him. Hey, what do you think of the one in pink? The fat one? It's not that fast. Well, if it isn't the last of the big spenders. Yes, please. Um, big stack of pancakes and a cup of decaf. Please. Just coffee. So what comes with this gimme liberty or gimme eggs? Three eggs, toast, and two pieces of bacon or sausage, exactly like it says right there. OK, I'll have that. Eggs? Yes, please. How would you like them, moron? Oh, well, um, scrambled? Bacon or sausage? Can I have one piece of each? I suppose. Oh, and the lemonade, please. Thank you. Oh, what's with the lemonade? I like lemonade. Can I have water? water <laughs> Is that all right? So, what's new Murder Incorporated? What do you mean? Well, uh, you were over there a long time. Caesar introduced me to some people, so what? So why are you getting involved with these guys? Why are you breaking my balls? Why don't you give me a break? Christmas is coming, I need a score. You want a score? I got a scam for you. You can't miss. Oh, yeah? Come here. You go down to Macy's. You fill out an application, right? Loading dock or some shit. First week, you show up, do your job, everything's great. End of the week, they give you a paycheck. And then you put that aside. Next week, same thing. You show up, 
do your job. And that week, they give you another check. What's a scam? Well, that's it. It's called a fucking job. Oh, very funny, very <laughs> funny. I'm sure your fat girlfriend found you very Ooh. amusing. Shut up, douchebag. <laughs> big girl, Mike. Uh, shut She's up. Big girl. <laughs> After the Hamilton house, we'd usually split up. Carmine would head back to Pastel's and pick up a girlfriend, while Bobby'd pick up Amy, his girlfriend for life. They met at a video store. They were both trying to rent the only copy of Brigadoon. Hey, I guess people have gotten together for dumber reasons. Between work and school, I didn't have time for a relationship. At least that's what I told myself. Okay, people, this midterm counts for 50% of your grade, so answer fully and completely. You may begin now. Remember I told you earlier how I love to read? Well, that's true, except for one minor detail. I hated reading school books. It was weird. In some ways, I like being unprepared. It was like this incredible challenge, me against the system. Of course, sometimes I failed to meet that challenge. Like right now. An F now would have killed me. I was six months away from graduating, applying to law schools, and dead in the fucking water. But I wasn't about to let that stop me. Okay, people, time's up. Pencils down, please. And in your blue books, please. Right here. B&B Meats was where I worked after school. Good pay and all the cold cuts I could eat. Go sweep up for me, all right? Evening. You the boss? Night, manager. Help you? Earl Weber. I'm in waste disposal. Now, I know what you're thinking. You already deal with a private sanitation company. But what would you say if I told you I could cut your rates in half? <laughs> you're obviously not from around here. Son, stop right there. You know what this is? It's an ear. Cut it off a gook in Vietnam. I'm impressed. What's your point? If I can deal with the VC, I sure she can deal with the boys around here. Now, you give your boss my card. You tell him Earl Weber's at his disposal. You all have a good evening. This guy was obviously a mental case. In New York, private sanitation was controlled by the wise guys. Invent a better mousetrap here, you got a mousetrap stuck up your ass. Temple Sinai was a local shul that occasionally ran a Las Vegas night to raise money for Israel. At least that's what they told the cops. The truth was its rabbi was a degenerate gambler into his bookie for 50 grand. The result was every night was Las Vegas night. Our own neighborhood casino run by Caesar. What the fuck is wrong with you? 20. Oh, yes. Oh, here he is, Kamenuch. Hey, Philly, what's going on? Nobody, Michael, Michael, Philly. Hey. Boy, how's it going? Yeah. Listen, uh, yeah. I'm my Butterfingers. I'm going to talk to you about that thing, all right? All right, yeah. Listen, uh, play nice. Don't hurt yourselves. Yeah. 21. What's that, like the ninth fucking time? It's shocking. There it is, right there. Huh? That's what I'm talking about. Right here. Montana, that Donkey McMahon, they all got that snap. 21. Shocking! Everybody lose. Everybody lose! Come on, put me out of my misery. Come to Papa, you bring a face club right now. Cock fucking suck. Oh, it's not a cock set, it's good. Aces, split. Yeah? Yeah. I have no money. I can't. Split? Yes? I have no money. Go ahead, Miss Quinn, it's good. Go ahead, split the aces. Uh, no, 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 I, I, I don't want to do that. You don't want to split aces? 
I do, I just don't want credit. You don't want credit? Oh. Okay, what do you say? I give your friend here credit and you owe him the money. I, I can't do that. Mikey. Hmm? I'm starting to get a little complex here, kid. I don't mean any disrespect, really. It's just. I'd rather not. So you're gonna stay on 12? Uh, hit me. Still 12. Come on, nine or less. Ooh, the suicide king, huh? That was fucking genius, kid. Suicide king. Mr. Martinez. Nice job. Uh, Miss Frazen, hmm, showing you leftist leanings, I see. All right, Miss Deutsch, very, very nice. Okay, folks, take a moment to look over your papers. Then I'd like to continue the discussion we started last time on veto powers. Uh, excuse me, Professor. Mm hmm I didn't get my test. I didn't give it back to you? Uh, no. Huh. Something wrong? Well, this has never happened to me before. You didn't lose it, did you? Well, I mean, I suppose I might have misplaced it someplace, but I... I don't believe this. Are you sure that you handed it in? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing, nothing. Well, um, I'll make arrangements for you to take a makeup exam. A makeup? I'm already studying for the final. This is bullshit. Just take it easy. What, you lose my exam and it's my fault? How do you think that you did? <laughs> Frankly, sir, it's not how I think I did. I know I got an A. I might never study so hard in my life. Well, how about this? Um, if it doesn't turn up, will let the final count for your entire grade. All right. But do me a favor. When you're grading the final, bear in mind I got an A on your midterm. <laughs> Michael, we're in poli sci together. Right, sure. Ellen. Right. Yeah, no. So Foster lost my test. Do you believe that? <laughs> Incredible, huh? <laughs> so you live in the city? East side. So what about you? Uh, Brooklyn for right now. But I'm thinking of moving. The village, maybe. Cool. I love it down there. Listen, would you like to have a drink? What, like right now? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking this weekend, you know, Saturday maybe. But now's good too. Um, actually, my birthday's this weekend. Oh, hey, happy birthday. Thanks. I'm having a party on Saturday. You're welcome to come. It's at Addiction in Tribeca. Yeah, yeah, sure. I go there all the time. Great margaritas. Right? <laughs> Excuse me. So I'll see you on Saturday then? Any time after 9 is good. Yeah, great. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks, you too. This is Bobby's house. But for all intents and purposes, it was mine too. I never really knew my dad, and my mom died when I was 17. The Canzanaries were like family. That's Bobby's mom, hands down the worst cook in Brooklyn. Compared to her lasagna, a bowl of shit would taste like haagen -Dazs. Aunt Louise, the most depressing woman in the world. She wouldn't be happy sitting in the lap of Jesus. Bobby's dad, 
Though he was born and raised right here in Brooklyn, this man has done more to mangle the English language than Ebonics. Southern a bitch, give me the remote control. Come on, it's March of the Wooden Soldiers. Change it back. It's Laurel and Hardy. Friggin' dog, oh, get out! Teresa! What? He's pissing the carpet again, he's incompetent! It's incontinent, John. Oh, who gives a shit? Bless us, O oh Lord, for these five gifts which we are about to receive from thy boundaries. Through Christ our Lord, amen. 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 Those kids, the ones in the stolen car? Yeah, it's terrible. 16 years old, now they're dead. Some Thanksgiving for their families. See what happens, you don't wear a seatbelt? Well, they were driving like 100 miles an hour. Irregardless, I bet you wear your seatbelt. <laughs> Who says I don't? Die in a stolen car? You'd probably go to hell. This is delicious, Mrs. Cairns. Yeah, Ma, it's great. <clears throat> What the hell is Carmine? Maybe somebody let the air out of his pompadour. All right, here. Check this out. Let me know what you think. Postal clerk. 8.73 an hour. You gonna be a mailman? A mail clerk. See, that way if it rains, you get to stay inside. It's federal, so if you fuck up, they can't fire you. How can you possibly fuck this up? I don't know. I'm just saying, what do you think? It's good. You know, you're happy, I'm happy. When's the test? I just sent out for the application. What's up? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> what? So the Mafia is hiring bullfighters now. <laughs> Seriously, Carmine, you gotta be fucking kidding. Yeah, all right, why don't you check out GQ this month? Because this is the next big thing. <laughs> Where, Guadalajara? <laughs> funny, you're very funny. Go sign your penny loafer so we can go. We ready now, please? Hmm. He's going over to Amy's. Come on, going over to Amy's. You can knuckle her any time. All right, that's it. Now, none of you is the best man. That's the point. You're gonna marry the girl. You're gonna see her every day for the rest of your life. Not if I can't afford a ring. It's a movie, you fucking chiseler. Okay, how about Kiss of the Spider Woman? How about you kiss my fucking asshole? How about that, huh? Then I'm not going. Oh, fine. We'll go without you. Come on, Cesaro. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, be quiet! My parents are sleeping. Oh. See, that's the thing. Michael J. Fox comes back at the end, right? How come his parents? They're over here, they don't recognize him as a kid from the beginning. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, maybe time travel screws with your memory or something. But they didn't time travel, he did. Doesn't make any fucking sense. I wouldn't overthink it, you know? I'm just saying. Fucking pig. Look at that napkin, would you? Yeah. What's this? Nothing. Some redneck came in the store, tried to get me to hire him as our new garbage company. Get the fuck out of here. He's got a necklace with a fucking ear on it. Cut it off some gook in the war. Send him after that blackjack deal, that's what you should do. <laughs> hey, I feel he want to talk to you about that night. Come see me about the thing. Um. Nothing, you know, he's uh, got something going down at the airport. Ever heard of John Gotti? No. He's with the Gambinos in Queens. No. Philly's in with some of his crew, so. Why are you fucking around with these guys? I don't know, Mike. What do you think? Maybe I should uh, sign up for college, maybe? Uh, start hanging out in the city. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. Sometimes you act like we don't come from the same place. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? What am I talking about? That. You sound like Thurston Howell. Excuse me for not wanting to sound like a moron. Oh. You know what I mean. 
Don't you ever want to get out of this hellhole? Where am I gonna go? The whole world's crazy. Not like here, it isn't. Now, they shot the fucking Pope, for Christ's sakes, right in the Vatican. Most accidents happen within two blocks of your house. <laughs> Look, it's just Philly. Those other guys. I worry about you, that's all. I'm tired of being a bust out, Nick. So get a straight job. What? What? Straight job at some bullshit company? 90% of the world works in some bullshit company. I'm not them. You understand? I'm not them. Okay? I want respect in life. That's it. You know what? You could say what you want about Philly and about Caesar, all right, and the rest of those guys, but they get their money and they get fucking respected. It's a big difference between fear and respect, Carmine. All roads lead to Rome, Mikey. All roads lead to Rome. Just be careful, okay? I'm gonna find you dead with two in a pompadour. See you later, buddy. Yeah. Hey, you forgot your jacket. No, I didn't keep it, you fucking hump. <laughs> You close the gates. Hey. It's nice to see you again. By the way, I'm Caesar. You're, uh... Michael. Michael, right. This is a piece of shit that tried to get you to hire him, right? Uh, uh, Boy, he, he didn't really... Just, just yes or no. It's not your fault. Oh, all right. Look, you're a good kid. You don't want to get involved. I understand. Hey! Scumbag! Foghorn Leghorn, let's go! On your feet! Uh, I'm talking to you, asshole. Fuck you! Oh. Did you try to get him to hire you? What are you looking at him for? He can't fucking help you. Hey, it's not the end of the world. I just want to know. Now tell me, did you or did you not? You tell me the truth, I'll let you go. Yeah. Is that a yes? Yeah. Hey, that wasn't so hard, was it? You okay? You all right? I'm sorry I was rough with you. I lost my fucking temper. I should learn how to count the ten. Uh, Needles and pens or some fucking thing. Uh, oh, that's real nice. I heard you got that as a souvenir in Vietnam. Uh, I never made it over there myself. One of the biggest regrets of my fucking life, let me tell you. Real fucking shame. Uh, uh, I would have liked to have had one of those for myself. You know something? I think maybe. I'll make one right now. No! 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 Please, no! Please, Turn that no, thing on! No, Come on! No, Turn it on! Please! No, you think you're gonna take no, money out of my pocket? No! You think no, you're gonna take money out of my pocket, no, you fucking scumbag? No, Come no, on! No, yeah! No, no please! Ah! You call it the fucking Van Gogh garbage company now. <laughs> Cash. Because I know you don't like credit. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. your fucking mind. I said I was sorry. How many times you want to hear it, Mike? I didn't tell you about this guy so you could score points or fucking Caesar. I mean, cut the guy's ear off. Look. What did you think you were gonna get, mafia employee at a month? You know what? If you would shut the fuck up for two seconds, I could tell you what happened. Just let him talk. All right? Listen to me. I was at Butterfingers with Philly. We had a now, drink. Who's Philly? Caesar's guy. We had a drink. We started talking, and it came up in conversation. What? When you were trying to impress him about how big a tough guy you are? OK, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. I apologize 26 times, and now you can go fuck yourself. Right, what are you going right. to do, cut my ear off? I'm going to give you a fucking beat. Oh, oh, come that? on, tough guy. Enough. Enough. I feel like Mills Lane here. You two are my best friends. With all due respect, I'm not going to stand by and watch while he beats the shit out of you. And as for you, 
I don't care how this thing started. You're just an asshole. All right. What happened? I was talking to Philly, all right? And I admit, I stupidly brought up the sanitation more. All right, next thing I know, fucking Caesar's standing there. And Philly tells him the story. If Caesar turns purple, and that's it. That's it, Mike. A half an hour later, he's pummeling the shit out of the guy, and we're here. That's it. Jesus Christ, Carmine. Michael, please. I apologize. I did not know that this was going to happen. Did you just get off a fucking spaceship? Or what the fuck did you think was going to happen? That's the point I didn't think. I didn't think. Look, it's over. Please, Mike, it's over. Don't worry about it. Caesar likes you. I don't want him to like me. Look, you want to fuck around with these guys. That's your business. But I want to go through life without Caesar Manganero knowing I exist. You got to get away from these guys. I'm sorry, Mike. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Yeah. I just don't understand how you do that. Do what? Supposed to put mustard on hot dogs. So? <laughs> In England, they put mayonnaise on french fries. Oh, this looks like fucking England you. <laughs> how many squirt this in your face? <laughs> Hey, that's that guy who had the fight with the bus boy that night. What bus boy? Pastels. Philly knows that kid. It's with the banana was supposed to be a Romaniac. What are you, like the official gossip columnist for the mob now? I like to stay on top of things, all right? Speaking of fucking, we going out tomorrow night or what? <laughs> I don't know. This girl at school invited me to a party. And? What? I don't want to invite you. Of course. This is gonna be a lot of college assholes, though. Oh, what, like you? Yeah, exactly like me. Look, all I'm saying, you guys might not be comfortable, that's all. Are you embarrassed of this, Mike? What the hell are you talking about? You know, there was a little bit of hesitation there, Mike. Uh, get the fuck out of here. Look, you wanna come, come. You don't, go fuck yourselves, okay? And the mirror's reflection I'm a dancing on with myself And when there's no one else inside I think the crowd in a lonely night Well, I wait so long for my love vibration And I'm dancing on with myself Dancing on with myself Cars are right here? Yeah, sure, why not? The city, what do I know? Todd, how you doing, man? Todd, fucking be Todd. Yeah, he's all right. He plays on the cross, dude. Sorry to hear that. Hey, Todd. Hey, Todd. Wow, you, you made it. Well, of course. It's your birthday. Hey, these are my friends. Excuse me. What's your problem? I don't know. Won't let us in. There's a dress code. No tennis shoes. Do I look like I play fucking tennis? They're called sneakers. Uh, Ellen, these are my friends. This is Bobby. Hi, how are you? This is Carmine. Hello. How you doing? OK. I don't want any trouble, all right? Now, you want to stay, that's fine, but your friends, they don't belong here. Ooh, what's that supposed to mean? Yeah, back up now. And don't put your fucking hands on me, all right? You understand? Yeah, take a walk. I'll be right back. 
What's this guy's problem? I don't know. It's like he's an asshole. Did you go tell him we're on the lacrosse team, huh? I'm sorry. Man. It's bullshit. It's just when do you wear sneakers anyway? What fucking difference does it make what I'm wearing, huh? It's all right. Go with your girl. Go. Seriously, go. It's fine. Tell you what. Go around the side. I'll meet you there. You know, it's not a big deal. Mike, listen, I got somewhere I got to be. All right? Go have fun. Go get laid. Come on. Look, fuck this guy. We'll have a good time. All right. Okay, we'll meet you around back. Two minutes. Right around the side. All right. Okay. Hey, asshole! Give me a call sometime. We'll go play tennis, all right? Call mine. Bobby. Hi. Hi. Is everything all right? Yeah, they had something to do, so they just left. Yeah. Uh, can, can I get you something to drink? Uh, blue margarita. Blue margarita? Shot of Jack. Coming up. You look nice. Uh, don't let the clothes fool you. <laughs> you don't look so bad yourself. So, happy birthday. Thanks. So your friends, are they from Brooklyn too? Uh, Switzerland, Olympic yodeling team. <laughs> it's funny, the whole Brooklyn thing. Funny? Well, like in class, I always sensed there was something off about you. Oh. Um, edgy, you know. It's a compliment. Edgy's good. <laughs> OK. I'll, I'll quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> Get out of here. Go someplace we can talk. Yeah. Ah, oh, this is great. How romantic. Oh. So? <laughs> Wanna take you to the classiest joints? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> You know what? It's not great. It's actually terrible. Would you like to go back inside? No, I want to stay. Really? All right. So that was pretty slick last week. What was? What you did with the poli sci test. I saw you slipping in your jacket. <laughs> I, I can explain that. <laughs> Relax. I'm not a stool pigeon. It's funny, your friends look like they'd be scam artists, but you... That's exactly why I'm so affected. Yeah, it's the innocent face. Plus the fact that you seem so smart when you talk in class. I am smart. Then how come I caught you? Mm. Maybe I'll let you catch me. What? Mm. Just trying to get a handle on you. <laughs> I mean, on the outside, you're this cute, preppy guy. But on the inside, you're obviously the devil. Hmm. You always analyze people? I do minor in psych. Uh, OK. I get it. I'm a psych experiment. <laughs> no, you are not. Yeah. Great view. Yeah, it's beautiful. Talking about you. What? <laughs> Do lines like that ever actually work? Uh, <laughs> apparently not on women who minor in psych. Okay, you have one more shot. 
try and make it good. I'm glad you invited me. Yeah, me too. What I didn't know was, while I was getting to know Ellen, Carmine was out in Queens, getting to know his new friend. Get out. Get down. Come here. Come here. Oh. Get up. What do you got back there? Anything good? No, no, no. Huh? What about, uh, what about those video games? You got those Ataris? I'm telling you, I don't know. I think it's Cabbage Patch Dolls. Cabbage Patch Dolls? Yeah? Good. Fuck against that fence. Turn around, I'll chop your fucking head off. Go! Oh. Turn around again. Turn around again, you stupid fuck. That lying cocksucker. What the fuck are we gonna do with these? We're gonna sell them. No, Philly, these are great. These are great. The Quiz King. You don't know this? We can sell these for 10 bucks a pop. Yeah, but the cabbage patches, those are like fucking gold. What we're told, Tom, is that the president and Mrs. Reagan will spend the day touring the city with... Where's the dice? They're right there. Yeah, you go. Yes, I'm in. Go. Hey, Mikey, what happened last night? Did you fuck that girl or not? Whoa, no good. This one's off limits. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. You ditch us and we don't have the right to know if you got laid? I didn't ditch you. You left. So you fucked her? what I just say? I'm not gonna talk about it like that. Uh, so he didn't fuck her. <laughs> Read the question, asshole. All right, this one's for a peg. The last peg. Kiss your money goodbye. Remember, you got the answer exactly. Mike, come on. What's the name of the largest railroad station in the world? Grand Central. Uh, uh. What do you think? No, more specific. Grand Central Station. Wrong. What do you mean wrong? Grand Central Terminal. Get out of here. That's what it says. I don't care what it says. It's wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. Those are the rules. Give me that one. Stop. It wasn't right. You answered. Oh, me. shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen. Daniello Della Croce died today of cancer. Della Croce, allegedly second in command under Paul Castellano, was an underworld figure with ties dating back... Holy shit, this is big. Why? Right, what's the matter? Della Croce, he's like a Gotti's godfather or something. So? So, Philly tells me that Gotti hates Castellano. And with this guy gone, who knows what could happen. You know, we better call Luca Brazzi, because we might have to go to the mattresses. <laughs> <laughs> They're both very funny, amusing, all right? But I would not be surprised if this causes some serious problems. Yeah. I got my own problems. Like, that's my fucking money. It's not with wrong. Would you stop? Over the next few days, it seemed like every wise guy in New York turned out for Neil Della Croce's wake. Everyone but the boss, Paul Castellano. A fact that did not go unnoticed by John Gotti. As for us, Della Croce's death resulted in a windfall. Here comes your sister, Carmen. Because every wise guy in the Gambino family had to attend Della Croce's wake. Ladies. So? Philly found himself with six Sinatra tickets he couldn't use. Uh, <laughs> so we dressed to the nines, picked up our dates, and got ready for a night to remember. If you were a guy from any kind of neighborhood, you had a special place in your heart for Frank. Hey, come on, come on, you tree old hoos. Let's take the picture, all right? Scrunch up. And if you were from any kind of neighborhood in New York, beautiful. This song gave you the chills. <laughs> Unfortunately, the news was that the tickets were counterfeit. All dressed up and no place to go, we ended up at the Hamilton house. Why are you breaking my balls? How was I supposed to know? You tell me that doesn't look real. These say Hank Sinatra. Okay. <laughs> no, please. Burgers are on their way. Are you ready to order yet? Yeah, I'm gonna get the cheese milk. You mean the grilled cheese? No, actually, it's, it's a little different. So you toast the bread first, then you let the cheese melt on top of it. So you want a cheese sandwich on toast? Yeah, more or less. So why don't you just say that, doofus? Because I call it a cheese melt. What's the difference? <laughs> Amy, how do you put up with it, huh? I think he's adorable. 
So do I. Thank you, Ellen. So, Angela, what do you do? I'm in school. Fingernail technology. Oh, that's the oh yeah. Nice. And how long have you guys all known each other? <laughs> Kindergarten. Yeah, but Bobby was in the uh, special uh, retard class. Hey, leave my baby alone, Carmine. <laughs> you guys been dating long? Two years this month. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? What are you wasting time for? You make her an honest woman already, please. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yeah. rush me. Who gets the cherry lime, Ricky? Right here. The cheese melt. Thank you. I'll be right back. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. I'm gonna go wash up. Comb my hair for about 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, excuse me. That seat's taken. I know, asshole. I just took it. No, I mean someone's using it. He's in the bathroom. Oh. Well, when he comes out, tell him to go fuck himself. What's your problem? Bobby. No, this isn't right. Baby. What'd you say? I said, what's your problem? Why'd you take our chair? Our friend's using that one. Because I fucking felt like taking it, all right? Hey, 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 hey. We don't want any trouble. No trouble. I'm just going to slap the shit out of you. Hey, watch your mouth. What? I said don't talk to my friend that way. Why? What are you going to do? Good question. That guy was a stone-cold psycho. What could I do? <laughs> <laughs> Except that. Motherfucker! You're fucking dead! I'll break your fucking you neck! Me, motherfucker. Oh, Bobby! Bobby! What'd you say? Nothing. Did you look at this shit? This cocksucker tore my hair out. I'm gonna look like Frankenstein for the rest of my life, and he's worried about his fucking hair. Where's the uh, thing? Angela. Right, Angela. She left. Yeah, there's a big emergency over at the uh, beauty academy. Someone tore a cuticle. You ready? Let's go. You know, actually, I'm a little hungry. I could go for a cheese melt. How about you? Hey, fuck you, all right? Michael. Okay. Sure. Can I buy your keys? I gotta get this thing stitched up. Yeah. Put gas in it, all right? Of course. Good night. So, uh, I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. You doing all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Because you hardly said a word at the hospital or drive home. I'm just a little shaken up. I've never seen anything like that. You've never seen a fight? I grew up in Connecticut, Michael. People don't have fights in restaurants there. Well, what do they do? Correct each other's grammar? You could have been killed. Okay. I, I understand, but you're acting like I did something wrong. Wait, hey, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come here, come here. Now, you don't think this is my fault. You should have let him take the chair. We were using a chair. Well, that was worth a scar. What about insulting Bobby? I've heard you and Carmine say worse things to Bobby. That's, it's different. We love him. Oh, oh, that's how you show love? By insulting each other? <laughs> In a twisted way, yeah. Yeah, that is twisted. Hey, you let a couple of psych classes go to your head. You're just from a different world. Yeah, and if you plan to live in it, then you better open your eyes. What makes you think I want to? Well, let's see. Uh, the preppy clothes, applying to law school. 
It's all a big act. It's bullshit. You think that's an act, too? I don't know what to think. You are so fucking impressed with yourself, aren't you? With your rich parents, your brother in med school. You really think you're better than me, don't you? No, Michael, you think I'm better than you. Yeah, right. Of course you do. That's why you cheat, don't you know that? No, but you obviously know every fucking thing about me. No, hardly anything, but I know that much. You're afraid to compete on a level playing field because deep inside you think you're not good enough. And if you don't play by the rules, you never have to find out it might be true. Yeah, where'd you read that psychology today? No, it was written all over your face the night of my party. Yeah, all right. I think we're done here. Yeah, I guess we are. I wouldn't want to open up your cut. Fuck you. The fuck are you looking at? As much as I tried, I couldn't stop thinking about what Ellen said. Actually, it should have been easy since the Hamilton House incident was turning out to be a serious problem. The guy I had the fight with was a major sore loser, and I broke his nose. For a guy like that, being on the short end of a fight with a college kid was an embarrassment with only one remedy. He was looking to kill me. That Roscoe killer, put it away, please. Fuck. What's up? Everything's taken care of. You got nothing to worry about. But it's fucking great. How'd you pull that off? Uh, I had to go to Philly and then. Mike, Mike, come on. I had no choice. All right, this kid's a killer. Philly's gonna talk to Caesar about squashing it. So that's it. Not exactly. What do I have to do? They want you to take a dive in your next fight against Hagler. I'm serious, Carmine. <laughs> you don't have to do anything, OK? We're going to go for a sit down. That's it. Jesus Christ. Would you relax? Look at you. Bay Ridge Lanes was like a wise guy family annex, a neutral place where a lot of sit downs were held. After hearing our side of the story, Caesar agreed to intervene on behalf of me and Carmine. The psycho, whose name was Gino, was represented by Jimmy Baggs, a captain with the Bananos. So, the way I understand this, your guy was the first to raise his hands. That's the way I understand it, too. Well, we can't have that, Caesar. You know, granted, things got a little out of hand that night with the chair and all of that, but this kid's got a broken nose, and he wants his revenge. You done? Go ahead. All right, first of all, Jimmy, and with all due respect, this kid's a fucking struns. Come on. Oh, oh, shut your fucking mouth. I'm sorry, Caesar. Go ahead. Two weeks ago, he walks into my club, and he starts duking it out with a fucking busboy, and I can't even tell you all the other fucking stories I heard. Yeah, but he didn't throw the first punch here. I understand that, Jimmy. My guy threw the first punch, but after your guy insulted his friend. So my guy's supposed to take a beating for that? I would have given him a beating if he didn't stand up for his friend. You fucking look at me when I'm talking to you. You make me sick, you know that? You're the type of kid kicks a dog, then calls animal control when it fucking bites you. Your good fortune is that it was him and not somebody else that night. That had been me. When I was his age, you would have left there in a fucking body bag. Jimmy, this is a good kid. He works, he goes to college, and he's done right by me. I don't want him touched. That means no looks, no phone calls. You see him coming down the street, you nod, you say hello like a gentleman, or you cross the other side. You hear me? Oh, he's talking to you. I hear you. So we all understand each other? It's squashed. Now that's it. And I don't want to hear nothing more about this. You go tell all your friends the same thing. I don't want to hear this again. It's over. I get out of here. I'm going to make some fucking money. Go ahead. Real fucking cowboy, this kid. What are you gonna do? I was sorry to hear about Neil. We all were. 
Not from what I hear. Big Paul didn't show up. His choice, he's the boss. Yeah, but even still, a little respect, no? I mean, a guy's sick. You got the insulin shots twice a day. Yeah, well. Give my regards. You take care of yourself. Caesar? I don't know what to say. Uh, Thank you. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. Yeah, we got to call you Mikey Dukes from now on. It was a pretty good shot you had him with. <laughs> well, I was lucky. <laughs> hey, Mike, do me a favor. Go check on my car for me, would you? Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, you ever find that guy's ear? Oh. <laughs> Sit down here. He's a good kid, your friend, stand-up guy. Yeah, Mikey. Mikey's the best. Uh, it's good to remember who your friends are, huh? So Philly told me about the toy thing. So you guys are like the fucking Grinch. <laughs> yeah. I heard you handle yourself good. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you, Caesar. It means a lot coming from you. This life, it's not for everybody. There's easier ways to make a buck. Wall Street, college, whatever. Things are a little tense with Neil dying and all, so let's you and I stay in touch. Huh? A few months from now, we'll see what's what. Great, thank you. It's just a regular application. What's the problem? Nothing. I just want to make sure I filled it out right. You know, you're supposed to color in the circles that correspond to the letters in your name. No, I did. Yeah? When did you change your name to Roke Dad Kalman Exja? Ah. How is it you know every Oscar winner back to the Stone Age, yet you can't handle an application for the post office? I'm not good with forms, okay? <laughs> what? Ma. I know we fuck around a lot. It's just... I want you to know I think it's great you taking this test. I'm proud of you. I'm serious. What? I don't know, Mike. It sounds like you're trying to hit me in the seat. Ah, oh, fuck you, all right? I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> all right, you tight bastard. This is for all the marbles, OK? Yeah. You feel loose? You ready? Yeah, I feel good. I feel good. Because these aren't amateurs you're dealing with. These guys are killers. It's OK. Give me a name. Uh, Warnix. Warnix, Warnix. All right, let's do it. All right. I mean, it's nice, but there's no way I'm paying three grand. It's a beautiful ring. I'm not saying it isn't. It's the highest quality, VVS. I'm giving it to you at 2% above wholesale. Hmm. What? Something wrong? Oh, no, I'm just trying to see if someone wrote the word asshole on my forehead. <sighs> Sir. Nah, VVS, CVS, I mean, come on, huh? If you want, we take the ring down the block, we get it appraised. By who, your cousin? Do you believe these guys, Mike? All right. Forget three grand. Look, I don't want to be here all night, okay? For the 50th time. You know, and I know, this ring is barely worth a thousand bucks. This is a De Beers diamond. So I'll give you 1,200. Ridiculous. Forget it. Okay. I tried. Thanks. We'll go back to Warnix. Thanks anyway. Wait. Warnick is a thief. And what are you guys? Come on back. Let me see something here. The, save the calculator show for the Hicks from Long Island, all right? 1,200 or I walk. Plus tax. No tax, and it includes the setting. Sugar. Oh, all right. Give me a nice box, too. <laughs> Over the next few days, things got back to normal. Happy holidays. Actually, they were better than normal. It was right before Christmas, the semester was almost over, and I got a letter that changed my life. I was going to law school. 
I always said if you really want to know who a person's close to, just look at who they share their good news with. What's the matter? It's spunky. And they're bad news. When you're a kid and your dog dies, it's like losing a friend. But when you're an adult and you lose a dog you had as a kid, it's like losing a part of yourself. 11 years ago. Believe it? It's a long time. Remember when we found him here? Seems like it was just yesterday, right? I guess he had a good run. Good run? Come on, it was like fucking Rasputin, that dog. <laughs> That's true. He survived it all. Mob hits, BB gun. He got bit by a squirrel once. Your mother's cooking? <laughs> no. Nah. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Wasn't your mother cooking lasagna when we left? So? So that said, he probably committed suicide. <laughs> nah. Spunky would never take the coward's way out. Definitely would have left a note. Oh, don't worry about it, my friend. He's in a better place. In dog heaven. What's all? Bones, cats, and fire hydrants. I thought you didn't believe in God. I never said I didn't believe. I just think he's got a fucked up sense of humor. The Spunky. Care of my dog. The final exam for my poli sci class turned out to be a breeze. Three essays on the Constitution that I was actually prepared to answer. It's amazing what a little studying will do. got into law school. Congratulations. That's great. Yeah, it's for them, so it's pretty good. Alan, I'm really sorry about what happened. No, I'm, I just... I'm sorry, too. I said a lot of things that I shouldn't have. It's OK. I'm glad you did it. Hey. We should start over. Like as a little boy. I don't know. Shorter. <laughs> a real smart ass, I bet. Nah. 
Is that your dad? Yeah, before I was born. How old were you when he died? Seven. My God. What happened? Uh, car accident. He, we bought this place upstate. He was driving home from fixing it up, getting ready to move us up there. He was in a coma for a month. Died the day before my first communion. I'm sorry. You want to watch TV? Yeah, if you want. What time is it? Mm, it's five after eight. Oh, wow. What's wrong? Th th nothing. I just almost forgot. It. Bobby's popping a question tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's the two-year anniversary. It's so sweet. <laughs> it's great. I, as though she says yes. Of course she'll say yes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> One knee. I didn't even know what he was doing. She thought I dropped my fork. And then I saw the ring. <laughs> Come on, let's see. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you. I finally have a daughter. Moutain Chateau. Oh. The best. Okay. <laughs> I want everybody to talk. Mike. Nice. To the happy couple. What we didn't know was at the same time in Manhattan, a different type of party was going on. most powerful crime boss in the country has touched off a struggle for power in the shadowy world of the mafia and there is talk tonight of an all-out mob war the dead godfather paul castellano and his bodyguard were gunned down as they stepped from their limousine outside a popular new york steakhouse as brian Roche reports tonight authorities believe the brutal process of succession is already underway this castellano stepped from a limousine in front of a manhattan steakhouse he was shot down by three men Aside from the tension that gripped the neighborhood following the Castellano shooting, that Christmas was shaping up to be the best one in a long time. On Christmas Day, Ellen went with her family to Connecticut, and I stayed in Brooklyn with mine. Very touching, Carmine. I, I could see you put a great deal of thought into this. You should have bought three of these, so then we could all look like douchebags. No? Are we suddenly getting at gunpoint? If you pay for these, you're the one that got robbed. Oh. Ungrateful cocksucker. Unbelievable. Van Halen, 1984. What? You said you wanted that. No, I did. You should have you got me the album. Oh, Jesus. Trust me. In two years, they won't even make albums anymore. Well, that sucks. What's the difference? So you got to rebuy CDs of albums that you already have. It's a conspiracy. A conspiracy. Oh, God, don't get him started. He's on the phone with Angelos for 20 minutes the other night arguing about the delivery fees. Yeah, that's another scam. You still got to tip the guy. Baby. <laughs> Relax, okay? Okay, that's enough. Can we go now, please? Have a drink or something? Uh, let's go to a temple. Play some blackjack. Temple's closed. Everybody's laying low with this Castellano shit. I thought that was over. Over? It's only the beginning. Fucking cannoli in my hair. I gotta go fix and we'll go. As it turned out, Carmine was right. Over the next few months, wise guys perceived as disloyal to Gotti's new regime were taken out all over town. Castellano's murder was just the tip of a very bloody iceberg. After what seemed like an endless winter, Spring finally came. Take care of yourself. Thanks. Bye. There he is. Oh, hey, how you doing? Let me get a pack of smokes. Yeah. That year, it seemed like not a month went by without a mob hit. Keeping that blade sharp, Mikey? Huh. But the truth is, it never really affected me. What the fuck? That is, 
until this guy got it. Now, I won't lie and say that deep down Caesar was a nice guy or had good qualities or some other bullshit. The fact is, he was a horrible man, a killer. But as long as I'm being honest, I have to say this. His death shook me up. And though he wouldn't admit it, I know it really shook up Carmine. Hey. Hey. How'd you do? I think I fucked it up. It's the post office test. What'd you do, forget your crayons? They asked some tricky questions. Like what? I don't know, like addresses and shit. <laughs> when did they let you know? Uh, a couple of weeks. I need to pass this, man. It's big for me and Amy. I'm sure you did fine. Well, if it isn't the Cartwrights. Nothing for me. Uh, just a uh, couple scrambled eggs, a cup of decaf. What's the Eggs Benedict Arnold? Eggs Benedict with bacon instead of ham. Oh, so the bacon is like being a traitor? That's funny. Yeah, I think I'll have that, please, and uh, a glass of tomato juice. Oh, God, sake, you're giving me cancer already. Gotta die from something. All right, look, I need to talk to you guys. It's about the wedding. What did I say? I knew it. Amy's a guy. <laughs> Besides that, I know we've been joking around about this our whole lives, but I really need to pick a best man. All right. I know you're having a hard time with this choice, so I'm gonna let you off the hook. I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I should be the best man. Fuck him. I'm serious. I mean, my modeling career is over because of him. Would you look at this shit? The guy made me a mutant. You can't even see it anymore. All right, this is what we'll do. This will be totally fair. Saturday night, stroke of midnight, flip a coin. Heads, it's Michael. Tails, is Carmine. Fair enough. May the best man win. All right, so, uh... What's up with the bridesmaids? Oh, no, that's Amy's department. Well, don't let her pick any fucking skanks. Please. You understand? A toast to two of the best friends a guy ever had. Now, if I could just make a couple of friends like that. Salute. Salute. Oh. That shit is nasty. We should just do a shot of gasoline. Yeah, then we could save money, you cheap prick. <laughs> Uh-oh, Mikey. Come on, I don't look at that Spanish chick. Look at that. <laughs> oh, you should have wore your bullfighting outfit. Jealousy. <laughs> Jealousy can be so ugly. Get him. All right, I'm going to go take a piss. Uh, that'll be $9. For tequila? Nine dollars. Can I see the bill? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Good. Sorry to hear about your guy, Caesar. Thanks. End up fucking dead like that? It's a shame. You gotta be careful who you cross in this town. You know what I mean? Take care now. <laughs> we need to talk. Oh, Mikey. <laughs> this is Rosie. Yeah, hi. I need to talk to you now. Can you give me one second, please? Please, one second. Sorry. Are you kidding me? That maniac is here. Who? What maniac? Gino. Oh, fucking kidding me. What should we do? Nothing. Fuck him. Kid's a fucking piece of shit. I'm not gonna do anything here. I don't know, Cole, man. All right, maybe you should go. Maybe you should go. Grab Bobby, get out of here. Go ahead. I'm not gonna leave you here alone. I'll be fine, please. I'm gonna go home with that girl. Some of Philly's guys are in the back anyway. Right. Well, I thought you were done with those guys. I am done with them. I'm just saying. It's fine. Go. You sure? I'm positive. Come on. All right. All right. Go ahead. Call me later. I will. Call me. I will. Come on, let's get out of here. You just got here. I know, I know. Let's go. Is everything all right? It's fine. I'm just tired. Come on. Excuse me. What's 
the matter? I must be drunk. I can't believe I let you talk me into the valet. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with this car? You're uh, still in neutral there, Mr. Andretti. <laughs> you know what? Let me drive. I'm fine. You're shit faced. Let me drive. Almost midnight, and you're supposed to flip for best man. I would do it in the morning. Uh, pull over, I want to say a prayer. Will you stop with that? Come on, Mike. Do it for the car, okay? Okay. All right, let's get this over with. Make it fast, all right? Yeah. Ugh. I still look for my crucifix. Ah! Oh, Jesus! Just hang on, man. You're gonna be okay. Bobby! Jesus Christ. Call an ambulance! Bobby, you'll be okay. Call a fucking ambulance! Bobby, stay with me, Bobby. Bobby. It's gonna be okay. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Stay with me, man. Come on, Bobby, you're gonna be okay. Come on. Jesus Christ. What happened? Bobby. Bobby, look at me, buddy. Come on, look at Come me. On. Open your fucking eyes. You're not gonna die on me, all right? He's not dying. Don't you die. Don't you fucking die! I can't. Bobby, what? come on, you're all right. Wait, you can't what? I can't. Call the fucking ambulance. Come on. on way. Amy. Bobby, what are you looking at? Come on, man. Stop fucking looking at her. Look at me. Bobby. Look look at me, Bobby. Amy. Come on. Look at Amy's fine. Come She's on, gonna Bobby. come see you in the hospital. Come on, hey. buddy. Look at me. Look at me. Come on. Yeah. I'm sorry. Just hang in there. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's okay. No, 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 no. It's okay. Bobby. Come on. You're all right, buddy. Bobby. Come on. Bobby! What are you doing? The fuck are you doing, buddy? Come on! shall give up their dead. And the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his own glorious body, according to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Maybe it was denial, or maybe it was a callousness you developed growing up on the street. But whatever it was, it allowed me and Carmine to watch our best friend get buried and not shed a single tear. Coffee's fresh, anybody wants. Can I get you anything? Nothing. 
cannot believe that they buried him in that fucking suit. I had looked okay. Single breast of it looked like you. It looked like a looked like an accountant. Because at least his hair looked nice. That's good. It made me happy. It's just a mouth. Post office test. Should we open it? Yeah, all right, man. I don't fucking believe this. You failed. How is that possible? I mean, have you seen the imbeciles that they got working down at that place? Mental patients. Monkeys. They, they're monkeys who could literally pass this test. <laughs> he was a genius for some stuff. Like what? <laughs> Movies. Wheel of Fortune. Pac-Man. He was good at Pac-Man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he was like an idiot savant. Yeah, an idiot savant. A little heavy around the idiot part, I think. Don't start, okay? Let's not do this. <laughs> 16 years old, he's negotiating the price of a blowjob. Thought they were gonna throw us right the fuck out of that place. Well, you did get the price down, though. Yes, you did. Hey, how about that time we went garage hopping? Oh, and he fell through the fucking roof. <laughs> I thought I was gonna piss myself. <laughs> Stupid fuck. Oh. He was the best. Got that right. You know, I didn't even say a prayer for him. At the wake. Just kneeled there. Couldn't do it. You don't understand. When my father was in the hospital, I prayed for him every day. He fucking died anyway. Talk to that detective again? Yeah. You? Yeah, what'd you say? Same as before, nothing. What about you? Nothing. <clears throat> you know, we, uh, we could just tell him the truth. Yeah. We could. Yeah. Those were my bullets, Carmine. Yeah, I know. I know that, Mike. Where do you think he is? I don't know. He's in heaven. What the fuck do I know where he is? Not him. Gino. Find him. You know, he never got to pick a best man. It's a coin toss, you know, it could have been either one of us. You free tomorrow night? Yeah, I'll tell Ellen something came up. So we are talking about the same thing.
you know, for all the times we broke his balls, we never told him we loved him. He knew he did. He knew. I fucking hope so. Yeah. Aren't you, you fucking cocksucker? You ready? Come here. Get up. Get up. Pick your fucking head up. I said, pick it up. You sure you want to do this? Yeah. I'm best man. That's just me. Tails is you. Heads. What the fuck did you do? It was me. Come here. It was Heads. Calm down, Mike. Listen to me. Listen to me, Mike. Listen to me. They got law schools in California, right? Get the fuck out of here. Right? Take that little girl and go, Mike. Get the fuck out of here. Come here. In a strange way, I felt angry at Carmine. Like he cheated me out of avenging Bobby's death. I eventually came to realize it was the most selfless thing he had ever done. Until that night, I never really thought I'd leave Brooklyn. I could never imagine being apart from my friends. But that summer, I moved to California with Alan. Carmine and I kept in touch, but we didn't see each other for years. Then one day, I got a call. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endureth forever. The Lord is my strength and my song. Do you have the ring? You may kiss the bride. Though years had passed and we lived thousands of miles away from each other, in church that day I realized something. When you have friends, real friends, it doesn't matter if they're here or there, living or dead. No matter where you go, you always take them with you. In your heart. Oh, yeah, the boy can play dedication. 
It's just a song in only trouble and the strife. 